Hi Sagittarius, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your Law of Attraction Tarot and Oracle card readings for October 2024. We are going to have both a money and a love reading. We'll start with the money reading and there is a Law of Attraction message linked in the description box. If you are interested in that, let us begin. Release, okay? If something you feel like you was never yours to begin with, it may be time to let it go. You're being asked to release any toxic people or situations from your life. You deserve to be free of all drama, and this is the first step to achieving that. So if there's been something that complicates your life, and especially in money matters, it's time to let go of it. You also have the card of healing here. Your body, mind, and soul are in a period of deep healing right now. You're going through many transformations at once, and you're being asked to allow yourself to receive the healing you need with open arms and an open heart. So even if you've been kind of status quo with jobs, like you're in a job that you know you could do more, but you're like, this seems to suit me. This is not my optimal job. Like if you're perhaps in a job where it's not quite up to your skill set, where maybe you know you could get a more advanced job, but you're doing what you need to do for now because it's low stress. And that may be part of it. I keep hearing you're convalescing. So you're healing, you're growing. And I feel like too, when you do have a period like that, you're right on the precipice of the breakthrough of going to the next level. So I feel like if you've been kind of patiently waiting, this is where you're going to have a big takeoff and a breakthrough. Well, you've got the energy of the fool, the six of cups and the star in the outcome. That is looking like blessings. And the two of cups in your um, advice, I'm liking it. So we have Aquarius, we've got though, I'm telling you what, when you have the fool, anything new can happen. Nothing is off limits to you. It's a, it's a time of excitement, awe and infinite opportunities, but it's also too taking a leap. So I do feel like if somebody's making a big transition, if you've downsized, if you've retired, or even if you were retired and you're saying, but I know I still want to kind of dabble in the workforce, I feel like you're going to find something that's absolutely perfect for you. We don't count out our baby boomer generation. They were a huge part of our workforce. I'm a Gen Xer, and one of the biggest things is that our, the number of people in the uh, Gen X generation are not don't make up for it. We lost a lot of people. So either way, back to the uh, just the general reading here. I do feel like too, if you've been doing something like we said, where you've kind of been just, I keep seeing like a barista at a coffee shop. So if you've been in a position where it's like this was fine, but I feel like I it's I want to be the owner of the coffee shop, or if you left a corporate job, and I had a friend who is a very high-level therapist at one of the biggest treatment centers in the world. They also are a publishing center, begins with a, an H. You know who I'm talking about. She works at Trader Joe's now. She left a big, you know, I mean, that's quite a job. Um, but because she's getting closer to retirement, she's not licensed in the state where we live, and it just made sense. Uh, but I feel like, too, it's like the, the you know, doing the job that's temporary it's like going back, though, to the salary job. That's how I get it. Or going back to opening your own business or your own agency, something like that, because I did hear the word agency. So with the Six of Cups, you're going to have helpful people. And I also feel like, too, if you've been doing something temporarily, people have been great about it or they're accepting of it. It's like they're not trying to pressure you. Like, why would you do that? Or if you're perhaps in school for a you know post secondary um, or a pardon me a postgraduate degree, you're going into grad school and you're doing something just to pay the bills. I feel like you're going to make connections, but it's also too with the six of cups having helpful people along the way. Now, if you're moving, I feel like you're going to be in Pleasantville. This is one of the fairy tale cards. You're finding a match, no matter what it is, and so with the six of cups. It really is a place where you feel abundant, you feel wealthy, you feel, even if you downsize, you feel richer than ever because it's by choice. It's not necessarily by like, I couldn't afford this. It's just, I'm happier. 
I'm happier minimalist. I'm happier without all the land or, or the, you know, upkeep and the maintenance of a situation. So with the star, talk about an unwavering faith. Talk about better times. You have companionship. You have support. But it's dreams come true. It's wish fulfillment. I saw somebody, it looks like buying an old-fashioned bowling alley. Okay, and I don't, that's probably for one person here, but it's really when you see the star knowing that you are on the right path. And this is where the things that you want are here. It also, too, the number seven and eight are, are associated with this. So I do feel like you have a revelation coming in. You have, again, this is not just hope as much as it's gain. And what the Two of Cups are trying to tell you, it is a perfect match. It's reciprocal. So if you have a job change, it's you being with people who get you, understand you, and it really brings in more, more opportunities. To those who have, more will be given. Yeah, apologize for any wrongdoing and walk away politely. So if you have something where you you can acknowledge this, I feel like they're talking to like one particular person here because you really have a great reading overall in terms of harmony and getting along with people. But it may also be this too with that six of cups. If you feel like you've had a bit of a, you know, a, a misunderstanding, there may be something about that. Buying the person a cup of coffee. I don't know why coffee keeps coming into the reading, but it sure seems to be, doesn't it? All right. Now we're going on to love here. The runner. Okay, you have fear of intimacy, running away, intensity, Letting go, turmoil, and fleeting. So we'll see what that has to do with this as we pull another one. And heartbroken. So listen, deeply hurt and sad, feeling lost, grieving, and despair, breakup. So if you're going through a breakup, they're definitely talking to you. If you're saying I'm coming, you know, from something and I'm I'm in a new relationship, they're still acknowledging there's been some pain there. Um, so let's see here what else we can find out from the cards. All right, we had a uh, clarifier. You and your own energy with that King of Wands. So if you had a breakup, I feel like it's time for you to get your mojo back and get back out there. You've got the Two of Swords. You might not have seen it coming. The Hierophant and you and your own energy. You are going to be bringing them in. And the Ten of Swords is in the advice. They are going to be lining up, I'm telling you. With this Two of Swords, so I do feel like there may have been things you didn't know and things that you were not able to see that really caused some heartache. I also feel like, too, if you are finding that you're not completely convinced, you're saying you want love, but your energy says something else. With this Two of Swords, we got to heal this because the bottom sword is fear and the top sword is anger and nobody can get in when you're in this posture. So I feel like they're trying to tell you that something ended for a very good reason and it wasn't that person wasn't going to be any different. If you thought that they had put some mistrust behind them and they were somebody else I feel like you may have gotten a big dose of like take a look at me now I'm exactly the same okay so with the hierophant the hierophant holds up his hand in such a gentle and soothing way and says be still and know this is the kind of energy where it brings in a great partner this is a partner for life I'm telling you, if you had somebody that broke your heart, I don't think they're worth it. Not with these cards. It's on to somebody new. And whoever this is, talk about unity. Talk about, you hope you run into the ex with this one because it'll be like, look at me and look at them. But anyway, we don't necessarily need to rub their nose in it. But I do feel like with this, you have someone that will show you what love is really about. And this is where your heart can be open again. where Because we put up the close sign. Close for business, come back later because we can't bear it. We can't bear to be hurt again. And so with this, I feel like you are in a place where you can let your guard down. You can be open. You have here too the yokes of union on these two devotees, but they're also robed. 
in the Garden of the Magician. So use your internal energy, use your power. You and the outcome, nothing is more beautiful than this except for maybe these two together. You are going to have intense chemistry. You're also going to be saying no to some people. I'll just tell you honestly with this. This brings in such healing and love into your energy, but people cannot get enough of you in this energy. So you're going to find that they're going to be quite forward with you. They are not going to be shy because they know it. They can tell that you don't have to settle. So in terms of a love relationship, it could be another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, that you're bringing in. And it's somebody who's dynamic and they're not threatened by you. They can be supportive. They can be because they have their own their own success. So it doesn't when you win, they win. It'll be somebody who's such a better match. And I feel like if your heart is broken, your heart will beat again. That Ten of Swords, like I said, is saying something's over and we have to let it go. And who wants misery and heartbreak back? So let's see what else you need here about love. No, not yet. Take more time to think on it. So again, I do feel like if you're feeling like you're not quite ready, they're saying not yet. They're not saying never because the current energy that you have is the Hierophant. So I do feel like it's time to move forward. But again, there might be just a short delay. Either way, good things are on the way for you, Sagittarius. I love you and I'll be back again soon.